Hi everyone and welcome back to Cryptolina channel. In today's video I want to explain you three ways in which you can trade correctly and successfully with breakouts. If you as a trader don't know exactly how to trade with price action yet, then I recommend you to watch this video carefully. As it happens, price action is one of the most used trading methods by professional traders. After watching this video, you will know exactly how to do it on a professional level. But before we start, don't forget to subscribe to my free telegram group where you can find all my last crypto trades for free and also guys don't forget to claim your personal four thousand five hundred dollars bonus on bybit all you need to do is make registration and make your first deposit and if uh, bybit don't work in your country you can use bjet because if you register by my link you can also get eight thousand five hundred dollars bonus all the necessary link will be in the description and in the first pinned comment. So let's get started. Before you connect on breakouts, it's of course important that you know exactly what a breakout is. Simply put, a breakout is a change and a trend. For example, here on the screen we see a fallen wage pattern. The price movement in this pattern is downward, so the price is moving in a downtrend, but at a certain point the price gets to a level that is very close between a support level and the resistance level. At that point, the price actually has to make a decision because one of the most lines it will have not to break through since the price is trapped, so to speak. As soon as the price breaks out over or under one of these two lines, we can speak of a breakout. In this case, we see a breakout at the top, so over the resistance level. So we see a breakout taking place at the top, after which we can expect the price to also rise upwards. It's also possible that the price will break out. At the bottom, should this happen, we could anticipate a further price decline. A breakout doesn't necessarily have to take place as a pattern. It can also take place at a horizontal resistance level. Here we see an example of a horizontal resistance level. As you can see, the price tried several times to break through the red bar, but each time it got resistance and the sellers were stronger than the buyers. However, as at a certain movement, the buyers still managed to bring the price over the horizontal resistance level, after which we can speak of a breakout. As soon as this breakout occurs, the price is expected to actually continue rising in that direction. In this case, the breakout does take place at the top, so that we can anticipate a rise in price. Now that you know what a breakout exactly is, it's important that you remember that a breakout can take place on every trading pattern and on every horizontal resistance level or horizontal support level. There are many different trading patterns, I just showed you only the fallen wage and the horizontal resistance level, but so you should know that the breakout can occur on any pattern. Since I'm not going to explain to you in this video all the patterns that exist, I will just show you an overview of possible patterns that can appear on the price. Now that you know in which areas on the price a breakout can take place, we are going to look at the three ways how you then actually capitalize on a breakout. We will take as an example this resistance breakout, but keep in mind that everything I am explaining can also take place on the other patterns I just showed you. The first breakout we will discuss is the breakout and retest. With this breakout you don't immediately bet on a rising price once the breakout occurs. This is because we are waiting for a retest. A retest can take place after the breakout and actually means that the price touched the top of the resistance level after the breakout. We can see this here. The price first breaks over the resistance level and then first makes a small drop back to the resistance level, which now serves as a support, and then rises over its last high. In this case, we can anticipate a rise in price as soon as the last high is broken. The other way around with a breakout at the bottom of a pattern also works. Here we see an example of this. We see a normal trend line where the price breaks out at the bottom. We don't play right into a fallen price yet, but we are still waiting for the retest. We see that the price rises back to the bottom of the trend line, which now serves as resistance. Then it drops below the lull that the price has made, after which we can finally open our selling positions 
and retest actually shows in simple words that in this case the sellers win twice over the buyers initially the sellers win by allowing the price to break out below the trend line then the buyers try one more time to bring the price back over the trend line but they fail when the buyers get the price lower again by dropping below the loan so at this point the sellers win twice over the buyers resulting in a huge drop during trading it's actually always about trading with the side that is being traded on the most that is up or down so by the retest and drop below the last low we clearly see that the sellers are winning twice so from that point on we are capitalizing on a falling market and making a profit when the price drops many people think that as a trader they can only make money when the price is rising but that is a wrong thought and they are missing out on a lot of profits you can also make money when the market drops by using a technical called short trading in other words you open a sale and position and you make a profit when the price drops i do this on the platform bybit and it's just as simple as opening a buying position. I've put you a link below this video that allows you to take a look at Bybit. I personally have good experiences with the platform and trade on it daily. I recommend this platform to you. Now that you know how to anticipate a breakout by means of a retest, we can look at technical too. It's always important to learn several techniques as you will see that a breakout is not always accompanied by a retest. Sometimes you will not see a retest at all and in some cases the retest will not come back to the resistance or support. In techniques 2, I'm going to teach you that we can still take advantage of this breakout but without a retest. This is the support breakout. What you do in this case is to draw a support level at the exact point of the breakout. This is because a lot of volume has been released here, which we can take advantage of a later point in time. As you can see, the price later on found support exactly on this level, after which we should steal advantage of a price increase while the price didn't make a retest. So you can open a buying position on this support level. There is one rule with this technique and that is the rule that the support breakout can only take place at a trend line or a pattern breakout and not a horizontal breakout. If you apply this technique to a horizontal breakout, then you will see that the exact spot of the breakout will always be the same spot as the retest. So if the price comes back here at the place of the breakout, it will automatically make a retest. So you can only perform this technique on patterns or trend lines since they are sloping or descend. For the third technique called the volume breakout, we will use an indicator. This is the volume indicator with a moving average of 20. In some cases you will see that the price doesn't make a retest and also doesn't come back at a later time at the place of the breakout. At that moment a breakout occurs with a lot of volume and the price rises or falls in one piece. In this case we can use the volume indicator. If we see significant volume after a breakout we can immediately open a position without waiting for a retest or for the price to return to the support line of the breakout. Significant volume can be seen by looking at the volume bars of the indicator here. We want to see the bars move over the uh, 20 moving average after a breakout. This means that there is a lot of volume coming into the market during the breakout. We don't need to wait at this point for additional confirmation such as a retest or support level as you learned in techniques 1 or 2. But uh, can open a position immediately. So exactly at the time of the breakout we want to see the volume bars rise over the 20 moving average. So at that moment we open a buying position in a falling market with a breakout at the bottom. This works exactly the same, only the bars are colored red. In this video you've learned three techniques which you can immediately apply while trading. These three breakout techniques are extremely accurate and that's why they are also applied by professionals. I recommend you to memorize these techniques well, because breakouts happen every day. Whether it's in the cryptocurrency market or in the forex market, you can always trade with breakouts and earn a full-time income by doing so. You can execute these uh, three trading methods at any time frame. 
So if you prefer short buy or if you prefer sell positions, then you can, for example, trade uh, on the one minute time frame. But if you prefer longer term swing trade positions, then you can, for example, trade on the four hour time frame or the daily time frame. That is for this video. If you find this video informative, don't forget to put your likes and comments below and don't forget to subscribe. I want to thank you for watching and I'm looking forward to you next time. It's all for now.